Well, the Pittsburgh Steelers find themselves in a position that I wouldn't wish upon any NFL team. It's the no man's land situation. You're not good enough to be a playoff or Super Bowl contender, but you're also not bad enough to get that franchise quarterback inside of the top five. The Steelers have kind of been simmering around 500 for the past three years, finishing 9-7-1 in 2021, 9-8 in 2022, and now they sit 7-7 seven seven in 2023 with questions surrounding Mike Tomlin. You've got multiple receivers angry, and you do have a major whiff, it looks like, at quarterback with Kenny Pickett. And it seems like Kenny Pickett, his drafting was a byproduct of the Steelers not being bad enough to jump inside of the top 10 or top 5 and pick an elite quarterback. They go with Pickett, and it seems to be a complete bust. Now, looking back on the Pittsburgh Steelers, Big Ben Roethlisberger, Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, the killer bees. You could argue Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown, the best receiver and running back in the NFL over a three-year span. Unfortunately for the Steelers, the defense just wasn't good enough, and even though they had one of the best assortments of offensive skill position talent, with the Killer Bees during that era, they only made the conference championship one time, getting blown out in Foxborough against Tom Brady, and for all the success the Pittsburgh Steelers have had, they haven't made it past the wild card round since 2017, and they haven't made a Super Bowl in well over a decade now. You could point to some drafting errors in terms of the reason they haven't been able to reload the drafting of Najee Harris, investing a first round pick into a running back. By the way, I think at this point, drafting a running back in the first round is... It's just not worth it, especially someone with Najee Harris's wear and tear where he started for Alabama for multiple years, and it already looks like he's completely washed. He's lost a step at this young of an age. It is crazy. In 2020, they didn't even have a first-round pick. They drafted Chase Claypool. They did trade Chase Claypool for a, a very high second-round pick, so that was a good trade by them. 2019, they draft Devin Bush in the first round. He was seen last night on X laughing about the Steelers' loss to the Colts which put them in last place in the AFC North. In 2018, they drafted Terrell Edmonds, who turned out to be a bust. He was a safety. TJ Watt was in 2017. Also, Juju Smith-Schuster, they nailed that draft for sure, considering how good TJ Watt is. Getting him late in the first round is amazing value. 2016, it was Artie Burns out of Miami, the defensive back, total bust. 2015 was Bud Dupree, another bit of a bust there. So the Steelers haven't had great success when it comes to drafting, but the big issue for the Steelers is the transition period from Antonio Brown, getting rid of him. I would say, you know, it is what it is. We saw what happened when he left the Steelers. His career kind of was over. Same thing with Le'Veon Bell, where... He wants a bigger contract. The Steelers don't want to give it to him. He ends up holding out for a year, going to the Jets, and then looking completely washed. And Big Ben Roethlisberger, who still played well even without Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell for a few years. But when you're washed, you're washed. And Big Ben ends up retiring. How do you move on from that? They decided to invest a first-round pick in a very weak QB class because the Steelers are routinely good. They're not going to have a top 15, top 10 pick. And they draft Kenny Pickett and it just hasn't worked out. And now they're having this quarterback issue with Kenny Pickett. They've started Mitch Trubisky in the past. Now they're on Mason Rudolph. Now you have the locker room falling apart with Mike Tomlin. It has not worked out. The Steelers were a victim of terrible timing when they had a very elite offense. They did not have a premier defense. They never had Ben Roethlisberger, Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell paired with an elite defense like a TJ Watt type player. It never worked out that way. And now they're in this completely terrible doomsday scenario where you're not bad enough to get that Caleb Williams, that Drake May. At this point, if the Steelers want to get one of those guys, they would have to trade significantly up. Maybe even Jaden Daniels going inside of the top five now, they would have to give up so much future capital because they're just not bad enough to get a top five, top six type pick, but you're also not even close to being good enough with your current quarterback situation to sniff a Super Bowl, to win a division. You might be a wildcard team if you 
you're lucky this year dealing with some injuries it doesn't it doesn't even look like they're going to make the wild card also a very elite and tough AFC North now in terms of their future there are ways to go about managing this try and trade for a quarterback someone I would look for if I was the Steelers we'll see how he finishes out the year but I would look at someone like Justin Fields if you could also get your hands on Jaden Daniels maybe trading up a little bit the quarterback from LSU that's another player to look at although this is just speculation considering you know quarterbacks in the draft are just crazy some of them get mocked outside of the first round, and then as the draft process evolves, their top five picks. That's That tends to be how it works, but either way, if I was the Steelers, I would heavily look at a player like Justin Fields. I would say, look, Kenny Pickett, it is what it is. He's not good enough. You could argue, give him another year. Let's see. You've got a lot of these teams with young quarterbacks that really have to debate and contemplate. There's another thing that the Chicago Bears are going to have to contemplate with Justin Fields. Do you give him another year? Do you trade another number one over all pick and pass on a quarterback you know they passed on Bryce Young CJ Strout it's looking like at least passing on Bryce Young was a good decision but do you do it again with an elite talent like Caleb Williams and the Pittsburgh Steelers to be completely honest they would be in a much better position right now if they had two wins rather than seven it's just the reality of the NFL if the Steelers had two wins if they were tanking if they were done you're looking at a Drake May you're looking at a Caleb Williams you're infusing your franchise with the next franchise quarterback the franchise pillar that can lead you but the Steelers the way they're coached a solid defense they stay in games they win close games and they are seven and seven they've been in this doomsday 500 scenario we're not tanking but we're also not good enough to go deep into the playoffs do they consider moving on from Mike Tomlin after so long after winning a Super Bowl in his second year I do think it's possible based on the big time locker room issues that they've had especially with George Pickens, the young receiver, and Deontay Johnson. They're both very frustrated, and you can understand that. The quarterback play has not been there, but it seems like every week there's something, there's some type of pouting. It'll be interesting to see what the Steelers end up doing this offseason in terms of that, and also in terms of the quarterback, would you consider trading for one, maybe trading up in the draft for a QB? I do wonder, will they lose out and finish 7-10 and 10 and possibly at least salvage a top 12, a top 13 pick? Because right now it seems like They've got no shot at making the playoffs, and in recent memory, just looking at it, it was very surprising that Big Ben Roethlisberger, Antonio Brown, and Le'Veon Bell, the furthest they ever made it was a blowout conference championship loss to the New England Patriots on the road. Due to a leaky defense, they never made it to a Super Bowl with those players when they were all in their prime. And to give the Steelers credit, it does seem like they moved on from those players at the right time with Antonio Brown really flaming out. He goes to the Raiders. Le'Veon Bell on the Jets. Big Ben ends up just getting washed, getting old, and retiring a Steeler. But considering the fact this is a franchise that has been hovering around the same spot, kind of running in place the last three years, that's what I would call it. I'd call it NFL's version of no man's land where you're around 500, so you're not going to get a top draft pick, but you're also zero threat to win the Super Bowl. The Steelers did start randomly, I believe 11-0, and but even that was kind of a fluky start. And this year, some of their wins were absolutely ridiculous. People were saying the Steelers team is so lucky. At one point, they were 6-3. and Well, you know what? Maybe the Steelers were unlucky considering everyone knew they had no chance to win the Super Bowl. They're winning these games and they're actively destroying their own draft pick when even if they made the wild card with Kenny Pickett, a Super Bowl just isn't happening with that type of quarterback. It is what it is. So the Steelers, by winning a bunch of close games earlier in the season, destroyed their own draft pick. And it's not end-all, be-all. The, the, the goal is obviously to win a game. But I think when you're talking about you know, a franchise, the number one goal is to find a franchise quarterback. And if you don't have a franchise quarterback, you got to get one. And it doesn't have to be just from the draft. And you don't have to have a number one overall pick every year. We saw Mahomes go 10th overall. We saw Josh Allen go 6th overall. It's not necessarily to where you you need that number one pick, but you do need to put yourself in a good position to be able to draft that franchise quarterback. And I think right now, based on how things are setting up, maybe a trade up for Jaden Daniels or possibly trading for a Justin Fields type quarterback would suit the Pittsburgh Steelers but either way that is the story of what happened to the Pittsburgh Steelers some poor drafting some bad luck some really bad defense during the killer B era 
and now they're in this weird flux where they're always a solid seven or eight win team, but that also makes it unmanageable in terms of trying to find a franchise quarterback unless you get very lucky in the draft with a late first round pick, which is what they tried to do with Kenny Pickett. It didn't work out or you trade for a quarterback and he becomes something really good because normally you're never going to find a franchise quarterback in free agency unless a crazy situation happens, kind of like Peyton Manning where he gets injured and then becomes a free agent late in his career. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.